Xiaolong Cao is the first piece of our Guqin curriculum. Why is that, you may ask? If you listen to uh, the demonstration before, it sounds like as if it's not much other than a bunch of matching sounds. It sounds like a tuning exercise. Well, in fact, that's exactly what it is. As well, it is a practice on some of the most basic techniques that are commonly used for the instrument. Let's take a look. Uh, all the uh, different techniques we're going to be uh, exploring in this lesson. Tiao, Go, Ti, San, Jia Qi, Shang, as well as Fu, which means return back to position. Also, it is a prerequisite for you to understand the Chinese numbers from 1 to 10. For example, in the first four notes that we hear, if you look at the symbols down here, a san tiao qi, or an open string tiao, which is index finger forward on seventh string. As well, on the next symbol, you see here da jiu go si, which means a thumb on the ninth position, and you do a go, which is middle finger inward on 4. So we can uh, see that uh, on top you have uh, your left hand symbols which indicate what uh, finger to press on and what position to note. Also it could have a special symbol denoting open string. And if you don't see one, assume previous. So look back to your score and Look for the previous symbol that has your left hand information. At the bottom of the symbol, we get two parts of information for your right hand. First, you have a number in Chinese, and that is your string number from 1 to 7. And uh, you also have the right hand symbol, which denotes the movement for either one or two strings. Now, I'll refer to the uh, list that I have in my textbook for more detailed information of uh, any uh, symbols that you might be unfamiliar with. 